Good morning. I'm Elliot Tomingo with the Mayor's Office of Veteran Affairs, or MOVA. Under Mayor Bowser's vision and leadership, MOVA serves the district's 30,000 veterans through claims assistance, local outreach, and transportation programs. Vets Rides is one of those programs. Vets Rides began as, idea, as an idea um, at one of MOVA's monthly roundtables in 2017. Mayor Bowser's goal is to provide every veteran a fair shot at employment, housing, and education, and that begins with free transportation. Since November 2017, Vets Rides has provided any D.C. veteran making under 30000 a year or recently unemployed 10 free rides a month to health and housing appointments, food distribution sites, grocery stores, educational opportunities, and employment sites within D.C. I am proud to report that due to Mayor's consistent funding of this program and excellent support from our partners at the D.C. Department for Higher Vehicles and Via Transportation, Vets Rides has provided over 7,900 rides to 1,174 eligible district veterans since 2017. Today we celebrate the, and highlight the expansion of the Vets Rides program. As of October 1st, 2021, Vets Rides will provide any district veteran making under 45000 a year or recently unemployed with 16 ride vouchers a month, seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. to any location within Washington, D.C., and approved veteran medical sites in Southern Maryland and Northern Virginia. Next year, you'll hear from Director Doe of the D.C. Department for Higher Vehicles, Mr. Ryan Sullivan from Via Transportation, Mr. Richard White, and Mr. Calvin Owens. Mr. Richard White and Mr. Owens are both veterans who have used the program during the pandemic and will show their stories and demonstrate how to use the VIA application. But next is Director Doe from Department for Higher Vehicles. Sir? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Director Tomingo. I appreciate your time here today. And I also want to thank our wonderful veterans uh, and Ryan Sullivan from VIA uh, for working with us on producing one of the best programs to transport our veterans to and from. I also want to thank uh, the mayor for her uh, huge investments in both the fiscal year 22 budget and beyond, uh, making sure that all of our veterans, all of our communities, uh, have transportation equity. Uh, from our Vets Ride program to our School Connect program for our Ward 7 and 8 students uh, to our Neighborhood Connect, filling that last mile gap for our families. I'm so excited to be here today to launch the expansion to 16 rides for our veterans. I'm excited uh, that we're making sure that transportation equity across all eight wards becomes a reality. And so today I want to invite uh, Ryan Sullivan to come on up to describe a little bit about how uh, our veterans can catch a ride. So thank you so much. Uh, and Ryan. Thank you, Director Doe. Um, and thank you to Mayor Bowser. Uh, and thank you to, direct, to Director Tomingo for their support of the Vets Ride program. Um, uh, VIA has been a part of the Vets Ride program for about two years now, and we've been really excited to uh, help grow that program in conjunction with uh, the Department of Mayor's Office of Veterans Affairs and the Department of For Hire Vehicles. Uh, over that time, we've done nearly 6,000 rides for uh, our veterans here in the nation's capital, uh, and we're very excited to, as the director said, uh, expand to 16 rides uh, uh, per, per veteran. Uh, as well as expanding from just weekdays to, to seven days a week. Uh, we think that this is the type of program that exemplifies innovation in, in the public sector uh, and public-private partnerships using the best-in-class best technology that VIA can bring to bear to help fill gaps in transportation and, and bring transportation equity uh, to the district. So uh, thank you, Director Doe. Thank you, Director Tomingo. Uh, and thank you, Mayor Bowser. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it back to Director Tomingo. Thank you very much. So up next, I'm going to introduce Mr. Richard White. He's an Army veteran, and he has been using the program uh, for a couple years now and has used it through the pandemic and would just like to relay a story to you. Good morning. My name is Richard White. I'm a U.S. Army disabled Vietnam era veteran. I live in Ward 4. I'm also on the Mayor's Advisory Board for Veteran Affairs. I'm happy to be here today to say how wonderful that the Bet Ride has been for me the, the, with the uh, leadership of Director Tomingo and our mayor. The program is a success, and I think that it could go further. It has helped um, me keep all of my appointments at the VA Medical Center, the, um, going to the dental clinic, going to the grocery store. Um, 
and also for us older veterans the program is very very good as you see I use a cane a lot of us we can't get around as we could you know or, or want to and the ride is perfect for us the, the drivers are very courteous they are kind they're on time and they, they are someone that you know, if you want to talk about something they'll talk to you but I just also like to thank our mayor for giving us this uh, opportunity for the to have this uh, services as well as um, the, the Office of uh, Veteran Affairs, Director Tomingo and the staff. And um, last but not least, um, this program has been an inspiration to me, and I spread the word everywhere I go to let the veterans know what this city is doing for us from our mayor and our city council. And I would just like to say thank you. And thank you very much. Uh, and as Mr. Wright said, this uh, program is run by an application, but it also has a dispatch number for anyone who couldn't use that application. And I'll take any questions at this time, and we'll demonstrate the application for you.